Hello everybody, I'm back with another video, and today I just thought I'd show you guys um, an updated, upgraded video um, on one of my Connect Carnival rides. This is my KMG Freakout, and uh, I've made some modifications to it. I've changed the color scheme, and I've also done some things to make it easier and uh, quicker to set up. So uh, I'm going to get started and show you guys how it looks. Um, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do... Um, if you notice here in the front, uh, there's some steps. So I'm just going to take my steps off and slide them up like that. And uh, these four white um, yellow rods, I'm going to take those off. And I'm going to put them down here on the bottom. Like that. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to take my steps. If you notice, there's some little green nub rods. I'm going to clip them on to a couple of gray connectors. One on that side and one on this side. Okay. Um, same thing on the back side. Because on this model, I have steps on the front and the back. Slip up, slip up. Move my yellow rods to the bottom down here. I'm sorry, I know you can't see this. I'm trying to do it as quick as I can. Okay, I'm going to bring it out this way a little bit more. Okay, um, all right, the next thing I'm going to do is bring out the augers. The augers are right here, there's four of them, and all I do is just unclip a red rod from a couple of orange connectors, I swing it out push it down like that okay and the same thing over here on this side those out. Now it's time to do the ones on the back side. Same thing as, a, as the front. I just unclip and uh, bring them around. Okay, as you can see, this is what we have so far. Now it's time to raise up the um, support arms. Well, actually, first I've got to raise up the uh, decorative signs. And um, there's two here and then two over here on this side. Uh, all I do is just unclip a couple of red rods and raise them up so they're in an upright position like that. 
Same thing over here. Okay, now it's time to raise up the um, support arms. And to do that, I just unclip an orange connector from a yellow rod and the arms lift up like this. Okay, once I have that done, I have to bring these two arms over here and clip them onto a couple of gray connectors on each side. Like that. Okay. Um, let's see. As you can tell, it's a little wobbly. So to fix that, I have some extra support arms here. Little gray rods, they come up and clip to a couple of yellow connectors. There and over here, same thing. And as you can see, that um, that made the uh, support arms sturdy. Okay, um, now I have to take off the um, part that's holding on the suspension arms for the for the seats. They just slip off of these little white rods here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, on this little thing I built to hold them in place. And uh, this is gonna go right here on this yellow rod to keep it out of the way. Okay, now it's time to take off or unlock the seats. And they're right here. These are my seats gonna put them right here for now okay um and now I just take these and put them on like this Now we have a fully set up KMG Freakout. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do now is take off these two little red connectors and put one here and one right here, and that's to keep the seats from hitting, hitting them when they when the ride rocks back and forth. Now, um, this particular model uh, is mainly uh, just for, I guess you would call um, call it just a static model. I mean, it will move, but it will not operate like a real one. Um, this will spin and this will rock back and forth like that, but um, it's not realistic at all. Um, it's mainly just a just a static model. Um, I've been trying to think of ways to uh, make it operate like a real one. I just haven't been able to figure it out yet, but um,
I'm going to bring the camera back here and give you a better angle of it. Now, um, I could make it work a little bit more realistic if I put some counterweights on the top. But if I did that, it wouldn't look right because the real freak out does not have anything on the top up there. But uh, for video purposes, next time, I may add some counterweights up there so I can make it look a little more realistic when it's in motion. Let me give you some close-ups of it here. Here we have the steps, the seats, the augers, support arms, the main pendulum. it turned out okay um when i first built it it was uh all of the uh, support arms and the pendulum and all that were the same color they're all gray but i bought some um some orange rods and uh added the orange rods to make it more colorful and um did some other things to make it easier to set up and take back down but um you guys like it okay let's see here Um, I guess that's it for the KMG Freakout. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to try to figure out a way to put some counterweights on the top to um, make it look a little bit more realistic when it's in operation. But um, until I can do that, uh, stay tuned for some other videos I've got coming up. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching and happy building.